welcome to our Monday Minute. Today we're going to discuss an e-change request that was issued 13449. This change request is titled Stay of Enrollment. This is vitally important to be understood by both home health and hospices and other suppliers such as physicians and DME providers. Specifically home health and hospice, it is urgent that you understand stay of enrollment means that they will put your enrollment, your Medicare enrollment on hold, which means all of your claims will reject. The two primary reasons mentioned as examples in the change request that would impact home health and hospice is specific to you not immediately reporting a change of address or you do not respond to a revalidation request. As we know, revalidation has been a thing for a few years now. And if your Medicare MAC reaches out to conduct the revalidation of your agency and you do not respond, um, they are going to do a stay of enrollment. Um, prior to this, um, for any issues they might have had with your organization, they could have completely deactivated your billing privileges, which would take much, much longer to reinstate. This stay of enrollment is basically a temporary hold that they can flip with a switch, which is good news, right? Um, but the fact that they are going to do it based solely on you not submitting a change of address or you not responding to revalidation um, is a big, big issue. Um, make sure that you understand fully that I am doing this Monday Minute on this topic because we have already heard from one hospice um, that this has happened to them already. This is um, early May um, as I'm recording this and the reality is the change request says it goes into effect May 30th. So they are already conducting the stay of enrollment and you need to make sure that you have your address updated and that any information um, regarding revalidation has been responded to. Now do understand that these are not the only two items that could cause you to have a stay of enrollment. Anything that they could deem you to be non-compliant with enrollment requirements um, could cause this issue. Um, anything technically that you would need to file an 855 for um, to show a change in your situation um, could be an item that would cause this to occur. Thank you all for listening today and please make sure that you reach out to HPS anytime you need assistance. Thank you and have a great week.